Hello everyone, this is Bandicoot Commando 95 here. Welcome you back to um what the Okay, never mind, never mind. Welcome you back to my LP of Crash Bandicoot. I had some weird difficult problem, I guess. Uh anyway, so last time as we played on episode one, we got through both Insanity Beach and the Jungle Rollers. In this episode, we're going to tackle the Great Gate. Let's get to it. So, uh, as we're about to start, there are a few things I'd like to say. So, one thing is that I'd like to thank some people for uh, subscribing and whatnot and everything. So, oops. All right, let me get up here and then I'll take a quick pause and thank those people real quick. That is, if I can get up. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. So, I'll pause real quick and get my little paper to say who to thank. First off, I'd like to thank Squidman Rude for subscribing to me. For, you know, thank you for subscribing. Also, thank you for pretty much commenting on the video. And I checked your channel, and yeah, you do have some crash-related stuff on there. I haven't checked it out yet, but... I will eventually. I'd also like to thank 251GNR. Don't know if I would pronounce your name properly. Thank you for subscribing. And please don't mind that. I forgot to sign out offline again. Uh, I'd like to also thank a good friend of mine, Sack Chief, for not only commenting on the video, but he also shared it. I think I... I'm going to assume I know who you shared it with, Chief, but I'm just going to leave that to myself. You'll probably tell me in the comments below. And lastly, I'd like to thank a very good friend of mine, uh, Matt, for not only watching the video, but commenting on it. And yes, I'll tell you, there will be more in store and such. So uh, enough of that. Let's move on. So uh, there's a few things I want to clear up. On. Did I really? What have I got? Okay, yeah, I got it. So, one thing I want to clear up on is my sound. So, previous video, yeah, you could hardly hear my voice in more of the game. So, I don't know how this recording of it's going to turn out. I just edited my... Oh, that was close. God damn it. I edited the sound so you could probably hear me better, but at least still hear the game. So, if not, I'll have to just keep tweaking with it until I can get the right balance. And also, as I've noticed on... Uh, my video. I was pretty synced, actually. I thought I was gonna have, like, desync issues and and such, but no, I'm pretty synced, so I am no longer concerned about syncing problems. And, uh, damn it, I really wish I signed out before starting. Oh! Um, first death of the LP. And I was actually gonna say I was gonna do a challenge where I can go through this whole game without dying, but nope, I failed. I didn't even get to announce that challenge yet, but oh well. I'll say this right now, I am pretty godly at this game, but I still die, of course. And there's really no such thing as perfect in some cases. But damn, I was really wanting to... Oh, oh, didn't see him. I got distracted by the Tana icon. But I really wanted to try and get through this game without dying, because I know I can do it. It's just... It's just that, you know, in that case, I'm recording, and it's the Let's Play curse that did it to me. Alright, so, let's see, what else did I want to say? Um... Oh, yes, okay, so, one thing I want to also say is that when I started my uh, game, I realized that I completely forgot that... The last point you saved, which in this case was when I saved at the Tana bonus round at the last video, I had to replay the Jungle Rollers again just to get to the Great Gate. So, yeah, if there's one thing I know that's going to happen is throughout that LP, I'm going to have to replay a level that we just got done just so I can catch up to where we should be. Uh, let's see, anything else I need to ramble on about? Um, hmm, I don't think so, not at the moment. Oh, wait, there is something I can actually talk about. So, 100%ing this game. 
Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna 100% this game or not. Like, to tell the truth, I have never 100%ed a Crash game, period. Well, on the consoles at least. I've came close to doing it, but I just, I can't for some reason. I've come close, but just not close enough. I've 100%ed the handhelds, but not the consoles. But I don't know if I can actually, like, if I get more gems as I play throughout the game, then yeah, I might change my mind. But since I died, I won't, well, I won't get a gem, period, because there's those yellow things that you saw, and we need the yellow gem for that. Alright, so here on the next level, boulders. Alright, so this level will is an example of an element that is a recruiting factor in the Crash series, or at least in some of the original games. The runaway sequences. So yeah, you gotta run away from this big old boulder. And you'll be safe in these little alcoves, I think. Or what they... Damn it! Okay, next time, I'm gonna make sure... The next time I record, I'm gonna make sure to get offline. So I just won't get any more interferences like that. Besides, he keeps trying to invite me to Minecraft. And I don't have that on my PS3. Oh! Man, that boulder seems close already. Oh, I'm dead. The Let's Play Curse. The Let's Play Curse. I'm just gonna blame it on the Let's Play Curse. I thought I was gonna get through this game naturally like I would if I was playing on myself. Or myself. On my own, but no, it seems like I'm gonna just have to suffer the fact that you can only experience the Let's Play Curse at its best. But I need to talk, like, usually when I'm quiet, I have to focus, but I want to talk to keep you guys entertained. Okay, so if there's one thing I can say about these boulder levels is that, you know, you, I'm going to die again. Okay, I'm going to stop dying and actually focus, so I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds. Well, no, I'll, I'll talk a bit, actually, with this first boulder, because I don't have no trouble with this first boulder, at least. Man, this is going to have a big impact on me. Okay, so... What was that I was going to say, actually? Oh, well. I think I'm just going to ignore these crates. Like, yeah, the moment I die in a level, you know, there's no point in getting the gem, so I'm just going to ignore the crates and focus more on getting through this. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. So, these little fences I'm jumping over, that's a thing in this game where you don't know when they're going to pop up because of the camera and everything. Alright, this is where things get a little interesting. I also have to admit, the uh, music for these boulder levels is kind of chilling, if I say so. Especially with the didgeridoo instruments playing in the background. Oh, if there's one thing I don't like is that you can't outspeed this boulder. I think it does slowly advance on you as you move, and I think I'm actually going to get... Oh, thank God. I've actually had moments where right as I'm getting through this, like, little opening, it gets me. And, yeah, that's a pretty bad thing to complain about. What the... Why do you do the jumping animation? Um... Okay. Usually you have to get through it in one try without dying, but apparently I still got that. Hmm. I don't know. Um, let me see. How much time do I have? I could go. I could do one more level. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we will be doing upstream. Uh, this... At least, this is a nice example of after running away from boulders, you're at a nice, calm, little river level, which I like. It's a nice, a nice, peaceful way to get you away from that tension with the boulder. Thank God for conveniently si oversized leaves. And lily pads, too. I don't think these are lily pads, but... 
So, let's see, what should I talk about? Because this level's not very long and it's pretty easy to. I don't think there won't be much for me to talk about. Jumping fish, anyone? Alright, checkpoint, and I'm gonna wait for that leaf to come back. Let's watch the fish. Oh, these. I don't like these Venus fly traps. Like, there's these green ones and these blue ones. The blue ones I don't like because, well, you'll see why. So those green ones, basically, if you stand and wait on them for too long, they will snap you up, which is why you got to keep moving. But it's the blue ones that I don't like, and you'll see why if I encounter it in a bit. But, well, don't fall in the water. Crash can't swim in this game. Or he can't swim, period, unless he has the right equipment. So, it's these blue ones I don't like, because they automatically snap. And you gotta time everything so you won't get eaten. And there's, like, yellow gems? No, those are orange. At this point, I don't think I'm gonna 100% the game, but... You know, I might try. And... I wasn't ready yet. My mistake. Alright. Looks like I'm slightly rusty. I've not played this game in quite a long while, so my skills may not be what they used to be. But still, I'm a god at this game. Well, I usually am, unless I'm being recorded, in which the Let's Play curse takes its effect. Oh yeah, so, uh, real quick, I I almost thought I fell down. I should say this, if you fall off the bonus round, it treats it as, you know, you lost it. And you just automatically leave the level if you fell down. Okay, so, let's save as usual. At least when I start the next episode, I don't have to play too much. Yeah get back to where we will be. And there's the end of the level. How nice. Okay. Well. All I can say is, is that, um, thank you for watching this episode of... Crash Bandicoot, and that is it. Ah, damn it. I am tired of these people getting online and offline. I'll be sure that in next episode, I'm going to not only sign off offline, but depending on what happens tomorrow, I might actually possibly get through this island. Just maybe. So, uh, tomorrow, or next time I should say, actually, we will be fighting... Yes, we will be fighting the first boss, Papu, or Papu Papu. So, I'll see you guys then.